Hey lightweights, today I'm going to be trying Black Myth Wukong. His armor is so cool. They're awesome. I'm already just super impressed with the detail and the design of everything. Obviously, it's literally five seconds in, but like just his armor or outfit he's wearing. You can't see much of them, but what you can see... Just... Oh my god. Uh-oh. My master... <laughs> Safe. The scriptures... Sound. All I ever wanted was a life in my mountain, free from you and your so-called merits. Those high above don't trust me. I understand that. And they send you and those knuckleheads to threaten me, to obey and serve once more. <laughs> I understand that too. But what I don't understand is... You bastards killing my kind! I don't know if we want to pick a fight with them. <laughs> Aw, doggo. Pretty doggo. Angry doggo. That's cool. Stay back, stupid dog. Don't be mean to your dog. Mark this. He's not just any monkey. He's a monkey of merit. A monkey was made Buddha once. Shit. None other than me can challenge him to a duel. Is that an eye on his forehead? Look, monkey. I don't make a habit of fighting someone I've bested before. Here's my offer. If you lose, I'll take you to the Celestial Court. They will stay and level your mountain. But if I lose, I shall certainly take revenge, and they will level your mountain nonetheless. Hmm. How tragic would that be, huh? You are one of the court. We don't need to resort to violence. How about you bend the knees, admit the wrongs, and we can put this behind us? <laughs> All these years, except for that pig, you're the one who talks the tallest tales. That's a lot of soldiers back there. I am entertained. Speaking of entertainment, wouldn't it be fun if I pluck your extra eye out for my snack and allow you to keep the other two? 
Because I'd hate to let you miss how I'll slaughter each mongrel of the court. Those below, those above, and that black mutt of yours. Come at me, all of you. They Wait, we're fighting? Many chances, what? Yet you spurned each one. Such ingratitude. <laughs> Do I have a health bar? Oh. Oh, that's not good. What's that on the right? This looks like moves. Um. Woo! Oh! Ah! Oh! Look how the cloud goes when I do. Oh! When we fight each other. Okay, what's this one? Wait, what did that do? Does that make me impervious to an attack? Take that! Okay, that's the bottom one. Pluck of many. Oh, sh shit! Oh. oh. I definitely didn't have a health bar, and I wasn't meant to... <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> Definitely wasn't meant to uh, die there, cause. Fighting Buddha. Have you any idea how many would give their everything for immortality? Immortality? <laughs> for that word, all realms and beings have ruined themselves. Um, cause he definitely would have gotten me multiple times. <laughs> One hit with that? Oh, I'm trying to do a heavy attack. It takes too long. Okay, don't do a heavy attack anymore. Oh, jeez. Yeah, he's wrecking me now. I gotta stop trying to do different movesets. <laughs> You remain untamed. None shall save you now. <laughs> Dear brother, your edge needs homing. Good. I was in need of a back scratcher. Can't hit me with this. Oh, it doesn't last forever. Oh, you can hit me with that. <laughs> I thought I was going to be so smart and use that move. Oh, now I'm getting multiple hits on that. That's weird. Oh, shit. Who stands with you? I can't get the perfect dodge time down. Oh god, so he can still hit me when I'm in a hair pluck there. Now we got all 
the big boys getting us too? kid this is what I pictured in my head when there was like thunder and lightning and stuff and really bad storms <laughs> just gods fighting each other up above the clouds oh wait what just happened what is that did you just cheat Oh no. Oh. Wow, that's beautiful. That whole opening sequence was freaking mind blowing. That was amazing. And so ends the last tale of Sun Wukong. Oh, that's cool. A hero who treasured his freedom above all else. Buddhahood he attained, yes, but cumbersome he found the celestial rules, for he yearned to come back and to revel in the simple joys with us. Little did he know his choice to forgo the life above only fueled their mistrust. So he was a part of the Celestial Court, but didn't want to live with the Celestial Court? <sighs> this stone has stood for countless days on the mountain since my youth. They said that his remains lie within it. <laughs> Unbegotten, undying, such is the nature of a stone monkey. Though his body was broken, his spirit endures. Into six relics he turned, and separately they escaped, choosing to stay hidden. Those are the six senses of the great sage. Yet no one has ever seen them, not in centuries. I'm old now. Venture through all the lands, I cannot. Yet among you, there might be one who is destined. One that shall recover all his scattered relics. And upon the return of the relics to Mount Tuago, he may yet rise again. Okay, so it sounds like... And please correct me if I'm wrong. Sounds like his body is dead. But his soul or his spirit was broken up into six different pieces. And we're trying to collect them all so that he can reincarnate, possibly. Or resurrect. I don't know which one. Chapter one, black cloud, red fire. That sounds ominous. Gold bend the 
That looks like a juicy peach. Nowhere better than a home. We cheat death and ever grow. Here, you see what bliss my fate shows. Lots around the corner. Seems like he just fell from a fruit tree here. Perfect timing. This peach knew I needed a snack. What? What? Oh, oh, God. Okay, so we definitely have a health bar now. No matter how many times you come around, you're still as mischievous as ever, eh? Who's talking to us? Oh, that definitely looked like a secret hidey hole I could go in. Okay. Oh, can't go down there. Oh, so we do have a stamina bar. How dare you interrupt my charging! Okay, so the heavy attack is great. It's just obviously slower. So it looks like the stamina bar is the yellow bar. Hold triangle to charge and build up focus. Hold heavy attack to charge. Charging costs stamina, but quickly builds up focus. Okay, and what is focus for? Report to Lord Lingstreet quickly. The monkey is here. I don't know. A tiny piece of gold. Well, let's get this guy first. I know I should probably follow those, but I want to get this guy first. Oh, he's bigger. So is Will like our XP? Oh, what, what you waiting for? Pluck your hair and make an offer. That's so pretty. Hey, hey, wait. I, the keeper of Black Wind Mountain, have long been waiting for your arrival. Oh, his spitting image. I'd say. Up ahead is Guan Yin Temple. Once, it was bustling with worshippers, before it was ruined by that fire. Ah. Then, the temple was rebuilt. Oh, what good is it to rebuild a temple, if the goodwill of men has been burnt to ashes? You've forgotten this place, but they haven't forgotten you. Oh. Can I learn one. that move? Good luck to you. <laughs> That's a tough one. Okay, leave me leave me to die then. That's fine. It's sounding like we are the reincarnation of the first guy. 
Where's the wolves? Probably can't go down there. It always takes me a minute to learn like what kind of exploration I can and cannot do in a game. So that's... I'm assuming that's what I need. Like, that's my level. So I think I can level up, but I probably just don't have the ability to yet. Okay, we'll go through all this once we get tutorials and stuff. So there has to be at least some crafting. I'm trying to like learn how frequently to press square because when I was doing that first fight, like if you spam square, oh God, that's a big boy over there. If you spam square, it seemed like he kind of got locked into the movement of um, the attack, and I don't want to get myself in trouble by like spamming and not being able to dodge or something because I'm stuck in a an attack sequence. Where'd he go? Where'd you go? It was a ghost. What's this? Gonda of form. Okay, we're not going down there. Is there anything up here? Oh! Yes. Okay. I just assumed that was you, and I was correct. Yeah, see? Because then you get, like, locked into a sequence like that. So, I need to... I need to learn what the uh, correct... What the appropriate amount of uh, square smashing is. Square mashing? <gasps> oh my god, what are you? It's a frog! Ooh, an agile frog. Ah! Oh my god, it exploded. That looks like something I could pick up. Is there anything even up here that's worth me getting? <laughs> Where am I even going? Does this look like a boss fight to anybody, or...? Well, I guess if I die, we're gonna pretend that it's so that I learn what happens when you die. I don't even see anything over here. Oh, there's a point to me being here right now. Oh, this is a bird! A crow! <gasps> oh god. Something over here. <gasps> oh, shit. Damn, he does a lot of damage. Okay, well, now I have a boss fight and I have no way to heal, so that's good. <laughs> Hopefully this thing is worth it. That was just Will. I just came all that way for, for, for that. Uh-oh. We're in trouble. We're in trouble. 
<laughs> Beautiful scenery, though. So I'm going to die for this guy because I have no way to heal. Um, <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> just warning you now. Bullguard. Oh god. I'm gonna play again today. Shit. <laughs> it wouldn't be bad if I could heal. fine when I can actually heal. That was just for science. Um, I wanted to learn what happens when I die so that I know for the future. So I'm going to assume it's going to be similar to a Soulsborne style game. Where I'm going to lose all my stuff and all the enemies are going to respawn. Although I still have... Well, Dinner. The game's like, you weren't supposed to die yet? That was, um, really early. <laughs> Listen, I had to go exploring, okay? Okay, I'm not gonna go off the path this time. I'm just gonna go straight to that boss guy, because now I know I've gotten all the other stuff, at least. interesting though so this must be like some sort of a mini boss obviously not like a boss boss but it's interesting because the only souls like game i've played it oh oh shit is um bloodborne and all the bosses in that game were behind like that fog stuff so it looks like if you can finish the set of the light attack it does a really powerful one at the end Oh god. Oh, okay. That was supposed to happen. Good. <laughs> did we do that by accident? Oh, he did that. Teach us your ways, sir. He's like, I'm too old for this shit. <laughs> it's been a while, but the immobilized spell still works like a charm. I still got it. Since you hail from Mount Huagro, it won't hurt to teach you a handy trick. Now, here we go. Give me your hand. I can't tell if the little things on his head are hair or skin, and it's like, kind of giving me the ick, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it's like a really cool design, but also it just triggers a phobia of mine that I don't know what. I don't know what it is, but it's just, I can't look at it. Okay, a simple hand gesture can bind the enemy in place. So we're familiar with this one from that intro fight. There you go. Should you come across any miscreants, just point your finger at them and release this spell. 
See here, miscreant. Hold them in place while giving yourself a breather. I just, I don't like it. Sadly, mine is but a humble trick. Its power will wear off within a few short moments. Though it's good enough against boneheads like this one. Anyway, just consider it an ace up your sleeve. It's like the little growths on a potato. Likewise, these days, no, no manners. Fear not. Teach him a lesson with your new spell. Oh, nice. Easier when you can heal. Look at that. <laughs> and I already have three sparks. Self advance and sparks. Open self advance to awaken talents, level up to gain sparks, and awaken more abilities and spells. Sparks will not be lost upon resurrection. Okay, which we did learn. When I died for science. <laughs> okay. So we've got staff stances and foundation and then our actual ability. So let's start with foundation. So we can do stamina, martial arts and survival. Okay, so we're gonna do a health. <laughs> Each talent level moderately increases stamina. So we're gonna do a health and a stamina and then I'm probably going to use this a lot. I have a feeling I'm going to spam this as much as I can, so. Um, moderately increases damage dealt to immobilized enemies. Extends the duration of the next immobilization. This can stack up to five times. I guess for now let's do this. I'm not sure how often I'm going to be able to use immobilize. And I guess while we're here, let's check out our inventory. So our tiny piece of gold... We have five of them. Its origin is indiscernible. Perhaps some trade could be done at the Keeper's Shrine. By day they patrol the hills, by night they spin their yarns. Such is the life of lesser guise. Their hard-earned yarn can be used to craft armor. The Stone Spirit. This is the fortitude of the mountains and the spirit of the rocks. This material can be used to craft weapons. Okay, so this looks like it's just for selling. Armor, weapons, that's our health. An auspicious fungus that features a luxurious purple hue. This can be used to make medicine, can be used to make medicine, can be used to make medicine. The skanda of form. Man shrinks at odor but smiles at beauty, which is only natural. Once hidden inside the Buddha's head, this treasure has a secret yet to be revealed. <laughs> and we have portraits. Wolf Scout, Wolf Swordsman, Wolf Soldier, Wolf Stalwart, a Crokey, okay, that's the frog, and a Crow Diviner. I love the art, it's so good. Okay, so the Bull Guard was a chief, so that's like a mini boss. The King are gonna be the boss bosses. Okay. It's interesting. So this definitely seems like this is the lore behind them, which is really cool. That's awesome. You can tell a lot of detail and love went into this. I'm pretty sure, you can correct me, again, correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't want to misspeak, but I'm pretty sure this was based off of a story that I don't know if it's like a myth or a legend or if it's an actual book. Um, but I thought I saw people talking about, shoot, it's going to come to me. Hold on. <laughs> I forget what it's called. Journey to the West? So there really is someone who dare to come. Maybe? I should probably heal up. While I can. Oh my god, look at these. So pretty. Thought I saw somebody over here. Oh, right there. 
They kind of blend in. Hard to see sometimes. How dare you interrupt my chanting! <laughs> Should I go down there? Probably. Look at the bunnies. Oh, we got some more croakies. Probably not gonna do heavy attacks on them because they're too quick. Okay, get out of the way. I wish there was like a, a stealth or something so I could sneak attack in the beginning. Back up, back up, back up! Ooh. What a horrible way to go. The Jade Lotus. <laughs> I couldn't tell what those were for a second. I'm gonna follow follow the path of the flames. Oh shit. I was just trying to look at this statue. Were these the... Those weren't the big guys in the clouds, were they? Don't know, could have been. Okay, so it wants me to go that way, so let me see what's over here first. <laughs> Meditate. Very ghost of Tsushima. Can I write a haiku? is beautiful. Oh, that gives you a spark. Let's use that right now. Um, okay. I didn't even look at staff stances. What is that? Maximum focus points. Okay. How do you consume a focus point? Sprinting while charging. Performing a heavy attack during a light attack combo with a focus con point consumed allows the destined one to execute a resolution. I feel like I probably shouldn't do anything that requires a focus point until I know what a focus point even is and how to use it. <laughs> I don't think it's taught me that yet. Master the art of sprinting and dodging while conserving stamina to maintain agility in combat. <sighs> um, okay. Each talent level moderately reduces the stamina cost of sprinting. Oh, I kind of want that. See, okay, so I've really only played... Bloodborne. I know that this is this is technically, I think, not like a Soulsborne. I don't even know. I saw people saying it was more an action game. I don't know what the difference is. Um. Anyways, but Bloodborne's the only one of those types of games that I played besides Jedi, which would be like the closest outside of Bloodborne. Uh, so I really don't have a lot of experience with these games. So they're very daunting and overwhelming. Um. And a lot of times when I play games, 
my gut reaction is to want to put everything in health because I'm like, oh, my health goes down really fast. Um, but I figure I should probably try to diversify a little bit this time. <laughs> Get out of my comfort zone. So this must be another shrine is coming up because of the little sparklies. Yeah, okay. I hope our hair grows back quickly because at this rate we're gonna be plucking a lot of hairs. Fully restores your conditions and replenishes your gourd. Enemies will respawn. That's okay. Set spells. Choose spells you want to use in combat. Reallocate the sparks from the awakened talents. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, that's really cool. Okay. And then this... So eventually I'll have more than four and I'll need to decide what I want. Got it. And I've got a store. So this is for selling. Okay. What can I buy? Evil repelling medic medicament. Medicine? Upon use, considerably in increases damage reduction. Removes burn state. Removes poison state. Crafting ingredients. Okay, I probably shouldn't buy anything until I really know. I guess I don't even know what the will is for yet, so. Probably shouldn't. Um, be spending stuff yet until I, until I know what I'm going to want to spend it on. Hey, wait! You don't think you can just parade in, do you? Well, actually, I kind of It's did. not that simple. Let me transform you into a golden cicada so you may follow the fires ahead and scout this mountain unnoticed. Fly! <laughs> It might be humble, but my shrine is very versatile. You'll get it soon. Do we get to do this every time we find a shrine? <laughs> Look at our little butt. Wait, I'm playing? Oh. Whoa, this is weird. It's a black wind mountain. There are secrets galore. The cicada form may help you explore, huh? but beware. A few of this wine. form does not last wonder if there's anything left Should you find yourself them. lost, just follow my voice. Now, off you go. How do I know how much time I have left? Oh, that's like a boss right there. Or a mini boss or something. I said follow the player. We're gonna follow the player. It's funny because I'm a bug and bugs are attracted to flames. Okay, so there's this whole little zone down here. Lots of enemies. Looks like there's a bridge. Okay, another boss there. Is it the yellow bar that's going down? What kind of secrets am I looking for? Oh god, I hope it's not the yellow bar that's going down because I'm about to run out. It's back here. Okay, there's no enemies. Let's see. Yeah, actions cost stamina. When stamina is depleted, the ability to perform actions will... Okay, yeah, the yellow bar is stamina. Right, 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 right. Okay, well, um, I found- oh no, not a, another crow guy! He kicked my ass! <sighs> Whatever, if I die, I'm literally no worse for wear. I've done nothing. Ooh, I've got this now. <laughs> Take that. Yeah! 
So I don't know the little circle at the bottom right and the little bar around a mind core? What the hell is a mind core? It's a rare material. The muddy employ their corporeal forms as furnaces and their essence, vigor, and spirit as ingredients to forge a potent core which may be harnessed to craft celestial medicines. Ooh. Okay. Ginseng for medicine. Love, 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 love. Okay, he wasn't so bad when you had immobilized. <laughs> Made him much nicer to fight. Can I go up here? No, okay. See? Don't know what's explorable, what's not yet. Gotta learn learn the ropes there. Drop your weapon, and maybe I can spare your life. Nah. No thanks. I should probably be working my way towards the bosses, but I'm not gonna lie, I'm just a little scared. <laughs> what's up here? Nothing? Well, I guess it's not really an up here, it's just a different path. Okay. Oh, this looks like a big boy. He looks more humanoid than the others. Oh my god! What the heck? moves to damage. Oh, nice. I got the evil repelling thing. And I think I got a spark. Did I not? I did. Okay. Um, just want to see if I get this, if it's going to heal me. <laughs> it didn't. <laughs> Sometimes if you improve your health. Oh my. Oh, how am I supposed to get over to you, sir? Stop shooting. Sometimes if you improve your your health ability, it heals you. <laughs> In some games. So, you know, it was worth a shot. I should probably stop fighting little guys and go fight a boss before I have no health. Um. There's like the big giant dude that way, or there's some dude with flaming sword this way. I'm gonna go flaming sword way first because the size scares me less. I know that means absolutely nothing, but you know. Watching a giant something strut around is just daunting. Okay. Oh <laughs> I am so turned around now. <laughs> I think up that hill was the crow guy. I have no idea where I've been. <laughs> Threw me off flying here as a cicada. There's like a lot of little nooks and crannies over here. <gasps> what the hell? What are you? Ha! Ah! He got me? Enough of that. Oh, 
I don't like that. I don't like that. I don't like that. So I think... I think I'm gonna have to go heal before I try to fight a boss after all that for some ginseng. Not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, those are rocks. Okay. Because I I'm gonna fight a boss with half half health and no way to heal. That just seems like a dumb plan. Okay, so that's where the bird was. And that means I already went up this way. Because this was the chest down here with the big guy. Yeah, okay. So I think I'm just going to go back. I might as well kill all these people because I don't lose anything if I die. So I'm going to go back. I'm going to heal. Well, rest. Oh god, I'm afraid to pick plants. Um. And it's, I mean... It, it's okay that everyone gets resurrected. I think I'll be fine. Because I think I just take, like, the main path down. And it will put me back where that fire dude is. Unless, you know, you want to make me a cicada again, in which case I would happily fly back to the boss. <laughs> okay, we need to rest. Oh, you can fast travel. That's nice. Okay. Oh, wait. I think I had a... I'm gonna do... I'm do this one again. It seems like you get um, sparks fairly easily. Oh, I got both of them. Nice. If it wanted to give me another one of those potions, which also, how do I use that? Up directional. Oh, I already have two. Interesting. Man, you got me. And I whipped. How did that even happen? I don't want to go to a boss fight with not full health. <gasps> no, no. <laughs> okay, where's the flame guy? Oh, follow the flames. Okay. Oh, there's a bow and arrow guy there too. Shit. Is he gonna get me? Maybe I can just ignore him. I don't know if they'll follow me. My fear is like I'm gonna go into this boss fight and I'm gonna trigger somebody that I didn't kill and they're gonna follow me in because it doesn't have like that smoky thing that locks off the arena. Oh, this might be a mistake. Mm, another monkey, I see. <laughs> I'm scared. Why don't you lay down your weapon? One G. One she. I apologize. I'm gonna butcher all these names, but I promise I am trying my best. Yep. <laughs> this is not how we want to start this fight. Oh my god. He's kicking my ass. Oh, yeah, he's kicking my ass big time. Okay, now back up. 
man. Oh man, fucked up my dodge time. How do I restore my ability to use that again? Okay, enough of that. I feel like once that's not going to be bad now that I kind of know his moveset. Maybe I should buy that um, flame resist potion now that I know that he has a big flame attack. <laughs> Let's see. Store by um, Instantly removes burn state and significantly increases burn resistance. I guess let's just get two. I don't want to spend too much. Okay. Do I have to fight all these people or can I just run past them? Honestly, none of them are bad. It's just, you know, sometimes you make stupid mistakes and get hit. I do think I get stuff from those little barrels, so I think it's worth my time to... Okay, I'm not going to do the heavy attack on him because he gets his first attack off faster than I do. So... Can't tell if that's a baby or just a large headed man. It's kind of walking around like a toddler, that's why it makes me think of a baby. Oh my god, it's already been almost an hour. And ignore all those people. Ignore that flame guy. Is it worth it for me to drink the potion right away? Not sure. Oh my god. Great start. Great start, Tegan. Of those he does. Oh! I must not have had stamina. I definitely dodged. I have to dodge later for that one. I'm gonna top off of my health. Oh, not that late though. Shit. Don't die again, please. Wait! Oh, that ruined my ability! Oh, man! Or he was too far away when I tried to use it or something, I'm not sure. Okay, so I think he does four of those. Oh my god, don't die. Don't die, you idiot. Oh! I got cocky. I shouldn't have died there, that was so dumb. I definitely should have had him that time. I got I saw his little health bar and I was like, just 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 wail on him. Just get him. <laughs> okay, I'm I'm just gonna try. I just wanna see what happens if I just run past these guys. Especially because I've got this um, fire boss guy, but then I also have the big baby guy, too. Okay, don't fall off the ledge. We don't want that. So it looks like a little bar pops up for, like, 
the burn damage. And I'm assuming when it's full is when you actually catch on fire. So it's probably the same way for like poison and other status effects by it, I guess. Gets me every time. Okay. <laughs> that really wasn't bad. That shouldn't take have taken me that many tries. That's kind of pathetic. Red tide spell. As the feral flurry intensifies with each fierce thrust, the flames do rise. Transform into a wolf guai and inflict scorch bane on the enemy with each attack. Oh shit. Weapons and valuables cherished by Yao Guais often carry lingering obsessions from their deceased owners. Collecting them grants the ability to briefly take on their forms in combat. Each transformation has its own strengths, making them worth experimenting with. Transformations continuously consume might. Oh, so is might the little bar that's on the circle on the bottom right? And require a full gauge to initiate. Using spells during a transformation further depletes might, and once it is fully depleted, detransformation occurs automatically. Subsequently, might will gradually recover. So I'm that's got to be like the white bar around that circle down there. A little wolf statue. No oh, man. I hoped it would make a noise. It didn't. This one, though. Should I ring it? That feels like a trap. <laughs> Maybe I don't ring it. <laughs> What's this gonna do? I don't know why this feels like a trap. Okay, maybe not. Did it give me something? Like a spark or something? You just had to make some noise, did you? Now everyone knows you're here. When a chime so grand echoes in the forest, Yao Guais will surely be along. Okay, but to be fair, they already knew I'm here. As long as it doesn't start like another boss fight, I'm good. <laughs> I was not exactly stealthy when I died three times and murdered everybody on my path. So again, definitely not smart to try to go do this boss. It's already been an hour video too. This is gonna be like a two hour long video. <laughs> definitely not smart to go do this boss, but uh, I at least just wanna try it once just to see. How do I get there again? Oh, right here. Oh man, he's gonna kick my ass. 
This is gonna be. This is not gonna be good, guys. Okay. A wandering white. Oh, he's crying like a little baby. Oh my god, he just. I'm gonna try this. And this. Let's see what this does. Oh man. Light attack moon dance. Heavy attack moon chase. Oh man. Oh man. Don't die. Oh. Ah! What was that? Okay, that was cool, but I'm gonna have to learn that moveset. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I was stuck. There's nothing I could do. I knew it was an area of attack too, but I there was no area for me to move, so <laughs> Okay, so don't go by that fallen tree again. I always do my best the first try too, and then it then my worst the second try. And then, you know, everything in between until I beat them, so don't expect it to go so well next time. <laughs> it's like I get beginner's luck or something. Maybe I should get another one of those potions. I have one. I don't know how long they last. Nah, I'm just gonna run past you. I don't really care. Oh, but do we think he's going to actually join this fight? Shit. Well, I guess we're going to find out. Again, we're going to use this one as science. Oh, yeah. He's following me in here. Oh, man. Oh, man. So he does damage on his own guy, though. So that's good. Oh, sh shit. Don't get trapped back there again. Oh, God. Oh, God. That's the area one. Shit. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. The range on that is freaking rid ridiculous. Okay, please don't die. No, not again. Shit! Oh. This area sucks, man. God, get up. Heal, heal, heal. environment like that? Are you kidding me? Back up, back up, back up. No. No, that was... Oh, no. Shit. Oh, okay. 
Okay, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, I'm definitely gonna buy some more of these. It's weird that I haven't gotten an- I wonder if I missed something. <laughs> I feel like I probably should have gotten armor or something if I- if there is equipment. Is there... How do I craft stuff? I just feel like I have all these stuff for crafting, but I haven't learned how to craft yet. So I don't know if I missed something. Or what? There's enough, because there's nothing here, right? Hmm. Oh god, I can't be doing that right now, really? Try to get. Oh god! I need to try to get. Fire damage on him. God, he fucking loves that move. this time. Jesus, that is fucking ridiculous. And I keep getting stuck on shit. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was just a throwaway round. That was dumb. I want to use that um, new flame one that I got 
to try to build up flame damage on him, but I'm not good at that moveset. <laughs> the timing feels off for me. Like, it takes too long to actually, like, do what I want it to do. Just because I'm not used to it, but... Take that, you pots. Oh no, this is the big one. Oh no, this is the big one. Wow, okay. Yeah, definitely can't use this. He feels way more aggressive this time. You headbutt. Damn. I don't want to fight him over there. The range on that is so dumb. Again? See, he's so slow. Too close. That was too close. Cat's eye beads. Can 
cannot absorb without guidance? What does that mean? What? A new curio obtained. I feel like I missed a zone or something because... What do you mean I can't get that? Did I miss some place? Did I go someplace I wasn't supposed to go yet? <laughs> um, okay. Blood of the Iron Bull. To achieve greatness, one's efforts must surpass the feet of a mosquito drawing blood from an iron bull. To cultivate a strong spirit, this is what you need. Okay. I definitely feel like I'm missing something. Am I going to get a shrine for that or no? <laughs> I feel like there should be a shrine if you beat a mini boss like that. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Come down there, Tegan. What are you doing? I better not run into any enemies because my health is so low. I got blood speckles on the screen. freaking arrows oh you hit your own guy that's good I like that what insufficient mana maybe it's a good thing if I die so my mana doesn't just regenerate Oh, so I can't move with that. Okay, that's why there's abilities to be able to do that, I suppose. Yeah, hit your own guy. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. It'd be cool if I could... Would you just cut that out? For real. You know you're dead. I know you're dead. Just calm down. I swear to god, if this is another boss and they haven't had a freaking shrine yet. This definitely seems like a boss in here. Shit. Shh, keep quiet. You don't want to set off that beast. In the backyard is Blackwing Gwai's ally. Calls itself Lee Schutzer. Considering your strength, I suggest you oh, no. get away while you can. I'm just gonna run Monkey. to this shrine real quick. Craft armor. <laughs> Just a little ahead. Just a little ahead. Okay, first we're gonna rest. So I wonder if there's a mana regeneration potion. Allows using the gourd while sprinting. Moderately increases sprint speed. Plus 16 defense. Could I use that before? Increase the sprint speed. Uh-oh, am I going to have enough to get everything? Yeah, okay. When sprinting, each second moderately increases attack. This effect can stack up to 10 times and will cease upon stopping. Oh, so it kind of makes it worth your while to sprint. Okay, cool. Um, so I guess I didn't miss anything. I was just ahead of the curve. So when do I get to craft weapons?
I'm sure I did still miss stuff, but that's okay. I think that's everything. I really need stuff. I've been playing this for an hour and a half now. My videos are normally an hour. <gasps> but it is fun. It's a good problem to have, I suppose. A little chesty poo hiding over here. Get too close to the stairs. <laughs> I'm not ready for another fight right now. Just collect this stuff and then I'm just gonna rest again just so it saves. I don't know how the saving necessarily works in here. I see like the little thing pops up for autosave, but I don't know if it's actually really autosaving or... <laughs> Alright, maybe let's um... Got ten of these. Let's sell those. And then... Oops. That's not what I meant to do. I wanted five. Oh. item is sold. How do I get it unsold out? <laughs> I need that. <laughs> I need you. <laughs> I need you to not be sold out. So I kind of want to go... Well, it's just weird that I couldn't absorb that one thing. I don't know. That's weird. Maybe I need to get something further in the story? I'm not sure. Alright, guys. I do have to stop there, unfortunately. Um... So I was kind of doing this video as like a trial. Um, originally, a bunch of people had asked if I was going to play this game and I told them all a resounding no. Um, typically, games like this are not something that I play. Uh, I'm not opposed to playing them, but they're outside my wheelhouse and therefore I'm not comfortable with them. Obviously, I mentioned in the video that I had played Bloodborne before. I played the Jedi games, which are similar-ish. Um, but that's pretty much all I've got in terms of styles that are kind of similar to this. Uh, I did do one video for Stellar Blade. Um, and I always have a good time with them. But for some reason, recording them is like a lot more pressure. And sometimes takes away the fun of some of those games. Just because I feel like I have to be perfect. And I feel like I... Um, have to move at a certain speed and when you're recording videos that just makes it so much worse, right? Like I only have a certain amount of time to record um, so it just gives me that sense of pressure uh, but I I watched a couple sections of some people's playthroughs um, 8 Bytes and Hollow Point on YouTube and I got FOMO. I really got FOMO. And then I saw a bunch of people talking about it on social media and I was just like, okay, I have to try this. So I'm not sure if this will be a full playthrough on the channel, but I at least wanted to give my first impressions and try it with you guys. And obviously if enough of you wanna see it, I can try to do at least a couple more videos. Um, but I do, I, I do not know if I'm gonna be playing this as a full playthrough yet. So let me know. I'm currently playing the Mafia um, Definitive Edition as a playthrough on the channel. I'm still looking to fill the second playthrough on the channel because I typically like to have at least two going um, in addition to my streams that I do, which are different games. Uh, so I don't know if it will be this, but I at least had to try it. And I'm really, really glad that I did because holy crap, it is so beautiful. It really is. The intro was just impeccable. And I really, now I say this as a a girl living in New York who is not diverse in her games, okay? I have never really experienced games that showcase a lot of Eastern culture. And so whenever I get a chance to do that, it's very exciting for me because it's always just so beautiful. The music, the art, um, the choreography of it, the characters, they're just, they're very different than what I see here in 
New York. <laughs> so it's um, it's always really exciting. That's another reason why I loved Ghost of Tsushima. Um, and I just, I love when I get to experience games that show me different parts of the world, either their culture or their mythology or whatever the case may be. It's the same way with Assassin's Creed. Um, I get to live in worlds and um, cultures with air quotes because it's like a video gamified version, right? It's not like an, the actual culture and the actual culture is obviously way more rich than what a video game can express. But um, it's always so exciting to be able to see things through a different lens. And this is one of those games where that intro scene in particular really just made me want to do a deep dive on the the book or the lore or the mythology behind this. Um, so please, if you have any information about that, please drop it in the comments below because I really am fascinated to learn more about those characters at the very beginning um, and just the overall premise of the story of what this is going to be. Uh, the actual like region that we're in right now is stunning. I loved that meditation viewpoint where it kind of just showed you like, okay, we made this really pretty area. Let's show it off. I loved that. I thought that was great. Um, and this game is definitely unique. I feel like Bloodborne, there was a lot of explorable areas and then a boss to kind of cap the area or like a mini boss midway through. This just almost feels like a boss. I don't want to say boss rush because that's like an actual genre, but more boss rushy than what I'm used to. Like, obviously there are explorable zones and there are like lesser characters to fight, but the fact that there was like too many bosses right next to each other, much different than I've ever experienced. And then here it looks like there's either going to be a main boss or another mini boss. And I only fought like three guys between those. So much, much different experience. And I did really enjoy it. Um, but I'm not sure if that's something that will be as enjoyable on the channel or not. So let me know if you'd like to see it as a playthrough. Um, and even if I don't necessarily do a full playthrough of it, I can maybe do another video or two if you'd be interested in that. Um, but I just wanted to try it because I really did. It came down to the fact that I had FOMO. Everyone was talking about how great it was. Everyone was talking about how beautiful it was. Um, some people are saying it's like the game of the year to them. So I was like, okay, I need to at least try it. I need to see what this hype is about, right? Um, and I'm really glad that I did. I'm really glad that I did. But I, let me tell you, I can feel my blood pressure is still, still risen. Because <laughs> that's what these games do to me. So um, stressful, but fun. It's very satisfying when you do finally like all the pieces click and you're able to beat that that um, challenging character. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe. Definitely hit that bell button. Definitely hit that bell button so you know when I post future videos. And let me know what playthroughs you would like to see in the comments below this, or if you have a different suggestion, please let me know. I'd really appreciate it. And I hope you have an amazing day.